Hey guys, um, so today we're going to discuss solving systems algebraically using the method of substitution. Okay, so what this is going to boil down to is we're going to substitute for one variable so that in the end our two equations actually boil down to just one equation with one variable. Okay, so here we go. So we're looking for the values of x and y which satisfy both of these equations. Okay, well if you look here this is kind of convenient because this x has already been isolated. Right, so that means that instead of this x value, right, so instead of this x right here, right, I can write 3y minus 1 because I know that that's what x is equal to. Right, so instead of x, I can just call it 3y minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to call this equation 1, I'm going to call this equation 2 just so it's easier to work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute 1 in 2. Alright, so here we go. So instead of 2x, I'm going to write 2 times 3y minus 1 plus 2y is equal to 14. Okay, so now I have to expand the brackets. Alright, so 2 times 3y is 6y. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2y is 14. Now I collect like terms, 6y and 2y is 8y, minus 2 is 14. And now I move that 2 over. So 8y is equal to 14 plus 2, which is 16. So now I divide both sides by 8 and I end up with y is equal to 2. Okay, so what I found out is that y is equal to 2 works for both of these equations. Now I have to, uh, now I have to find the matching x value, and I can do that from equation 1, because x is already isolated. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to sub it into equation 1. Okay, and equation 1 is x is equal to 3y minus 1. Alright, so now instead of y, I'm going to use that 2. <laughs> so I'll have 3 times 2 minus 1. So x is 6 minus 1, 5. Okay, so therefore the values are 5 and 2. That's the coordinate. Okay, and remember what this means is if I were to graph these two lines, this would be the point of intersection. Okay, so let's go to another example. So in this one, right, notice the difference between the two examples. Here, x is isolated. Here, we don't have anything isolated. Okay, I've got 3x, but that's not good enough. Okay, so what I can do is I can see that in this one, it's pretty easy to isolate y, right? So I will, and I'll say that y is the same as 4 minus 2x. Right, so I subtract 2x from both sides. Here it goes away. Here I get minus 2x. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to sub it in for that y. Okay. So what I'll end up with is 3x is equal to 2y, except y is now 4 minus 2x minus 1. Okay. So now I just have to solve for x here. Notice I'm down to one equation, one variable. So now I have to expand. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4x minus 1. So now I'm going to take this 4x over to that side. So I'll end up with 3x plus 4x. And I'm going to have 8 minus 1. So that's 7. So I have 7x is equal to 7, so x is equal to 1. Okay? Now, I can take this, sub it into that equation right there. All right, so we remember that y is 4 minus 2x, that's what we said at the beginning, all right? And x is 1, so that means y is 4 minus 2 times 1, which is 2, all right? So that point of intersection would then be 1, 2, all right? So the solution 
for x, y coordinates that works for this, for both of these equations is 1, 2. All right, so that's all for solving using substitution. So remember, the steps are, first you have to isolate a variable, sub it into the other equation, solve, and then solve for the other variable. Okay?